It's not bourbon. It's not scotch. What is it then? Let's find out. Folks, welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. If you're a returning subscriber, then thanks very much and welcome back. If you so happen you have popped in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. You may want to click that subscribe button down below. Just a friendly reminder, guys, it doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. Don't forget to click the notification bell to keep you up to date whenever I'm putting out a new video. And you are helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 2K. Okay, housekeeping done. Let's get on with this. It's not bourbon. It's not scotch. What is it? We'll find out in a minute. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be sent a trusty sample from Mr. Jerry Kersey. Uh You might know him as Jerry Kersey, but I know him now as the Dram Yankee. Changed his name a little bit. So, if you check out... Thanks very much, Jerry. Um, I'm going to crack on with this one for you, mate. We're doing the Balcones Single Malt. Wow, okay, Balcones Texas Single Malt. Uh, it's distilled, it's a pot distilled, aged at least 24 months, so it's a couple of years old. Fantastic colour for a couple of years old. Look at the colour of that. Fantastic, it's like a real dark copper, real dark amber. Jurassic Park comes to mind, but I won't go down that road. It's got a batch number, which is SM19-3. And it was uh, bottled on the 17th of December 2019. So it's last year's. And it's bottled at 53% ABV. Okay. Balcones, Texas Single Malt. It's a little bit... I've got a little bit of soft spot in a minute, guys, because round about this time... I was planning to be over maybe in Texas or in Tennessee or Kentucky. I had a little plan, a little trip planned with the Dram Yankee. Um, Covid seems to have put a stop to that in a minute. So it may have to, maybe hopefully we can get somewhere towards it towards the end of the year. If not, it may have to drop back to next year. So I'm a little bit, a little bit sad at the moment, but I'm looking forward to getting ready to get into this one to give me an idea of what I would have expected when I come to Texas. Um, so, I'm not going to go into any history, any distilleries or anything like that. It's Texas, it's Balcones, Wiki's there, I'm sure you can all check them out. I'm just here to give a quick review on this whiskey or this single malt um, and let you know what I think about it. So, without any further ado guys, I'm just going to crack on with the nose. Give you a little bit of taste, tell you what the finish is like, give it a score and conclude. So let's crack on. Colour wise again, yeah, real dark copper. Coin number 60's looking after this one tonight guys. Um, yes, I still have a few left. You know what you do, I'll drop a link into the description below and you, you can figure out how to get a hold of them. Okay. I can see what I mean by is not bourbon and it's not scotch. It does smell a little bit different, it doesn't smell like a bourbon. It's a little hint of brown sugar there which maybe is the closest that I can find to it. But it's really malty which you would expect because it's... In the mash bill it's all, it's all malted barley, there's no wheat, no rye, no corn. Just all malted barley which is fantastic. It is malty. It smells like it's going to be rich. I'm picking up back in a... It's like a bready note. Maybe a freshly baked loaf. A bit yeasty. Maybe a bit doughy. It's really got a bread element from it. But at the same time, the it's toffied. There's some vanilla there. Real, real nice, sweet honey note. Really nice honey note there. It gives it a bit of sweetness. I think the brown sugar gives it a little bit of sweetness as well, but it's it's quite sweet on the nose. And 
it smells like I'm picking up some cinnamon spice. Yeah, it's nice. Smells, smells fruit, but it smells fruity. Picking up a little bit of tropical fruit now. I'm saying tropical, maybe I'm trying to figure out what. I think it may be a pineapple. A little hint of pineapple, maybe. Or maybe some melon, but I'll, I'll come back to that. Hopefully it shows up more in the taste. But yeah, there's a real nice fruity note on the end of this. Yeah, just a real nice nose. Uh, not too complex. Not too overwhelming. No alcohol burn or anything. It just smells like a real, real lovely nose. Lovely cinnamon there now. It's nice. Let's taste it. Cheers. Okay. On that initial first sip, guys, it's it's thick. It's got a real nice oily, thick mouthfeel. It's a little bit spicy. It's 53 percent, 53% ABV. If I didn't know that, I would probably have thought it was somewhere between 46 and 50. Didn't think it was over 53, so it, it drinks a little bit lighter than its ABV. So I don't think there's any need for water with this. But yeah, it's rich, it's oily, it's thick. There's a little bit of dryness, real nice dry note. Okay, maybe. Lots of flavour. For two years old, guys, I can't believe that they've managed to get that sort of colour out of it. And that amount of flavour. There's lots and lots of flavour going on, guys. Typically, if this was a Scotty single malt after two years, they'd never get that colour in Scotland. They'd never get that much flavour in Scotland. And to be quite honest, they wouldn't get a two-year-old single malt in Scotland. They say it has to be at least three years in Scotland. But even after three years in Scotland, they wouldn't be anywhere near that. I think it's something to do with it. The, the hot Texas climate. I had all my shorts laid out. I had all my t-shirts packed away. Already all my kit is all bought with to go to America and it's just disappeared. So they'll probably lie in the case now until next year. But anyway, let's get back to the whiskey. I'm heading off on a tangent. Yeah. See that bready notes there, carries on from the nose, yeasty, like a doughy. Let's taste it again, second taste. On that second sip, it's definitely malty, it's getting a little bit spicier. As it comes on the, the arrival, it's just got that real nice thick mouthfeel, a little bit of little bit of alcohol and then the kind of spice kicks in the maltiness kicks in and that bready note kicks in but as it develops it becomes much spicier the cinnamon really kind of starts to dominate through the development real nice lovely cinnamon note there but then it becomes really fruity it's getting fruitier maybe a little bit of juicy fruit Real nice. That dryness is still there throughout. Is that raves? It's not off putting. It's just that it's that kind of oaky note. Real nice. Wow. Let's try another sip. Yeah, I'm enjoying this one. I see. I love the the the, the Balcones Texas Rye Hundred Proof. I love that one. Done all right with that. I've been having a few of these. Lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, Balcones in the UK, I think you can pick up a few bottles, I've checked this out, it's about £70 a bottle, so I'm not sure whether I would go to that £70, but I'll come back to that in the conclusion. But yeah, it's a little bit fruity now, still tropical. I think it's pineapple. Yeah, a little bit tropical. 
the fruit's coming more towards the finish. As it heads into the finish, let's crack on and let's do the finish. Okay, folks, on that finish, it's kind of medium long finish, probably favouring a little bit to the not quite into the long, but the bigger end, the bigger end of the medium finish. It's definitely a medium finish. It's okay. A little bit touch woody, a little bit dry. Lovely though. It's a real, real nice finish. It's a little bit leathery. And on the finish, there's just a little touch, little touch of smoke, maybe a hint of smoke, maybe some barrel char, just a real nice little hint of smoke on the end. I see, yeah, it's, it's woody, it's leathery. It, the, as it heads into the finish, it's a little bit fruity, then the fruit dies off and the kind of dryness, the oak, the leather and the smoke. So I think the smoke's probably where the dryness is coming from. I think it's just that kind of dry. But lovely, lovely whiskey or single malt, sorry, you American guys. It's not a whiskey. It's not a bourbon. It's a Texas single malt. Uh, just to conclude, folks, you probably noticed that again, I've finished this one. Just to give you a little insight. Um, I already recorded this video and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I was enjoying it that much that I just redone the video again just to take a second take just to give me the excuse to try some more of this so I've, I've actually loved this one score wise what would I score it? I would score this uh, a solid solid 89 out of 100 this uh, easily give it an 89 I think although this is a sample I think it's still great. If I had the bigger bottle, then it may get better and maybe a higher score later on. But purely on this sample, it's, it's an 89 out of 100, which is a decent score. Uh, no, I'm loving this Balcones. So that's just about me, guys. So over to you. Dive into the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Have you enjoyed the video? If you have, you may want to smash those thumbs up buttons. Uh, I know YouTube love it and it helps the video get noticed. Um, drop me your comments, I love replying to the comments, I love getting involved in the comments. Have you tried the Balcones single malt? Have you tried any of the Balcones range? Uh, I know there's a few of them. Here in the UK it's about £70, so I think it's a wee bit on the higher end for me whether I would dive into £70. If it maybe came up on an offer then I might be able to dive in then. Um, but other than that guys, that's me, I'm Alan. Until the next time, take care, stay home, stay safe, and the last thing is, the pleasure is in the drinking, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.